Good morning guys, welcome to the channel. Today it's Monday morning, we're in the shop, it's 7.30 and we have a mosque challenge. Challenge? We have a mosque uh, project that we're going to be doing today, which is um, an entire building. We're going to be doing all the communal areas, we're going to be doing loads of classrooms and we're going to be doing prayer areas. Now the prayer areas are, are like big halls with a patterned carpet that's been ordered and uh, come from Turkey. So it's got like a very nice border where people stand and pray towards a certain direction, which is towards Mecca. Um, uh, so we're gonna be doing that today. And um, uh, we are going to be starting on the main area. Uh, Ramadan is in two days. So we have only two days to complete the main area, which is a bit of a tight, uh, time frame that we have but nevertheless we think we can get it done today we're going to be we've already uplifted the, the the carpet that was currently down which was a gel back carpet it was firmly stuck down so that did take some time um uh, and today we're going to be we've done half of the gripper in with blind gripper because we're going to be double sticking everything we're going to be using a pu underlay which is approximately if i'm not mistaken 10 mil from carpenter's underlay we've picked this underlay because it is a it's a thick underlay and it kind of hides imperfections imperfections the floor the subfloor is not the best it had like it has like um uh, like them electric sockets in the floor which are dead and, and not in use and they've been covered um uh, and patched in and there's a few other little areas that has a few ditches and bumps and divots so we will be um, uh, going over with a PU underlay just so it hides all the imperfections. So that, that's the plan today. Uh, I'll show you the carpet, what we're using in the actual um, uh, main area. And um, did you get the carpet? Yeah. Salvaged it. Yeah, I want to make a rug out of this though. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> this guy just keeps hoarding carpet. No, I want to make a rug. So that is the plan today. The job, the, the, the mosque is in E3, so it's only 20 minutes up the road. We're gonna get there straight away. We've already done half the gripper in. This is a concrete subfloor, so we've stuck half the gripper in. We're gonna start with the underlay there, and then we're gonna finish the gripper and start finish off the underlay there. I'm hoping we're gonna probably get um, some of the carpet laid out today. It's not a matter of laying out the carpet and just sticking it down. You've got to cut the salvage edge off so it butts up nicely and the join is seamless. So it's not it's not as easy as chuck it down and spread the glue out. It needs a bit more time. They all need to be straight and, and they need to be in a certain direction, which is southeast, around 120 on the compass. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Uh, let me show you the carpet. Adam, if you don't mind showing us the carpet. Oh, it's the mosque one, yeah? The mosque one, yeah. Hi. Happy days. This is the carpet, and there's Adam's new shoes that he never wears for some reason. Only when I get to sex. Yeah. Um, Adam, you got a knife on you? Open that, let's have a look at this carpet. So this is the carpet we're going to be using. <coughs> and um, when I spoke about the salvage edge, so this is, the, this is the lines where people stand and pray. So this is, bro, you smell really nice, man. Thank you. <laughs> Um, uh, this is the lines where people stand and pray. We're going to be cutting this off, this here. So we're going to be cutting it from here. And then obviously when we um, cut the other one, which is there. Where is it? Which is there, I don't know if you can see it. Which is there. When they butt up, when they butt up it has a nice seamless finish because that's going to be the line here. Where is it? Here. So it looks nice. So we've got to do that on all of these. These are, if I'm not mistaken, 137 by like 30 linear meters. So they're very heavy. And that is the moss carpet. So that's how it looks. Nice little pattern. All right, guys, you ready? Knock the window, knock the door, ring the bell. If she doesn't answer in five minutes, leave. What's happened now? It's customer. Why do you look so miserable? Not enough. Look at oh, miserable yeah, Josh. <laughs> Terry, what's happening? You ready that to go? Much, yeah. What are you doing now? Gonna do some job, some <laughs> quiet matting. So he's gonna do a quiet matting and then meet us at the job. Me and Josh is gonna go. Josh looks like Michael Jordan today. We're gonna go and uh, start on this moss. Well, I'm not. <laughs> she doesn't answer in five minutes, just leave. 
This customer, by the way, she's been not answering the door for like 10 visits and she hasn't got charge of cancellation fee or nothing because we're good people. All right, guys, so we're here. This is the entrance. And this is the entire building that we're going to be doing. But today is only for um, the main prayer hall. So let me show you. So you just enter through here. So it goes all the way up there. Um, and uh, all of this is going to be carpet tiles. We're going to be ripping all of this up. But they've still got a bit more work to do. Uh, they're still doing the lightings, the LED lights. So we come through here. And these are a few classrooms that are going to be getting done in a normal type of carpet, nice soft Saxony type of carpet. All of this would be carpet tiles. Uh, this is going to be the mosque area. So this area um, uh, is going to be that carpet that we showed you in the van. And the direction is that corner. So the lines gonna, are going to have to be like this, diagonally. So this line here, um, let me show you this, this, this line is called a saf in Arabic and this line here is going to be going down in this fashion, diagonally. Russell, I have to give him a call back. So um, uh, yeah, so it goes back round here. These are the electric sockets that I was on about, which are dead now. They've all been filled in. And, and this is important for surveying a property because uh, you have to give them the heads up of certain things that could affect the finish. And these are now level and you won't see it. I'm using a uh, Geordie carpet gripper, blind 7.5 millimeters around the edges. Half of it's already done. Um, so we're gonna be doing the rest of it now. Now uh, these are the grippers that we're using. The underlay that we're using is Carpenter's underlay, guys. And this is a double stick underlay, which is this. And the printed side down is gonna be stuck to the floor. The reason why, I don't actually know, but the manufacturers state that the installation for double stick should be like that. So if you see why this side is facing out, it's not because we're cowboys, it's because we're following the manufacturer's guidelines. And that is the reason why. Uh, here it is. The, for double stick, install print it side down. So you um, uh, YouTube warriors, that's the reason why. Because um, uh, what we do is after priming it, we start to put the grippers down. What we do is we tap these bit, we tap them down. We don't completely go into the floor, we just tap them down just so when they're, as they're drying, it's completely, um, it's completely strong because it's got a big grab to it. And that's what we do. So we just tap them down. After, after it's all dried, we'll lift them all up and we'll know that it's adhered to the floor properly. Oh, what time you call this, mate? He went and done a one coir mat in the morning, and the time is now 10.30. Uh, this is the project manager, guys. I don't think you've met him before. His name's Abdullah. Abdullah, introduce yourself, brother. Hi, everyone. 
My name's Abdullah. <laughs> so he's in charge of the entire building. Or is it the carpets? I'm in charge of the carpets. Can I ask you, why have you come to Trim and Tuck? Obviously we're friends. We're friends, but so that's... I, I wouldn't come to you because you're my friend. That's the truth. Fair enough. I've come here because you lot are the best people to do the job. Hands down, without a shadow of a doubt. And company. everyone that knows anything about this game knows that. Professionals or clients, everyone knows that. It's the truth. <laughs> I'll send you an invoice. You send me an invoice. <laughs> I don't think it was recorded. No. Way. <laughs> You're trying, bro. I do that again. Yeah, yeah. Too much life. I can't do this. Hey, bro, stop keeping it up. Drop the camera. <laughs> Lovely job, lady. So now we've got all of this dried off and we put it down. And um, now we're going, we're going to attack the other side, we're just going to give it another hoover again. Just, just, just to make sure that it's completely clear when you rubble on um, stones and stuff. And then that's it, and then we're going to start getting the carpet out. Laying it the way we want and seeing what's happening. And the problem with London is Always on a double yellow. And let's hope we don't get a ticket. Josh, you need to slow down, bro. I can't okay. catch you. Coffee went out the window. Chicken burger, what do you want? Chicken burger. I can't. Seven long Josh is doing here is he's cut the duct tape in half and uh, he's, he's uh, taping the joints. Um, uh, so the reason why we've cut it in half is because obviously we don't want a thick um, tape going across where the glue is going to be going and also if any F3 does want to run through and harden this kind of prevents that. So that's why we're going around with the entire duct tape halved and taping all the joints. Alright guys, so all the underlay is done, all the tape's been done. The entire mosque is prepped now. Now we're gonna be doing the first run of the mosque carpet here. 
We're going to be running the first Moss carpet here. So we'll probably work out and do it from the middle, just so when we come back to it, we can have two teams working on either side instead of just starting from one wall and working the way out. If we start from the middle and find our center line, we can have two teams or two guys working away. Uh, and that should help. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing now. I think if we pull this, it's going to do something. Well, you brought my fan, yeah? Yeah. Was it yours? Yeah. Because we're a fan. I wonder where you got that from. <laughs> I wonder where you got that fan from. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to expose you on the camera. stole it from sick. Oh no! <laughs> Josh, you've done that wrong, bro. Josh, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? Roll it the other way. <laughs> Pingu. He just done that for no reason. I just wanted to see the carpet because I need to see That does look nice though. The formation is lovely. Roll it, my friend. But have we measured to see how much we need? No, no, you can just roll it and you can pull it all the way to the end, bro. No, I'm going to cut the whole length of that thing off. The whole thing. He's going to cut the salvage edge off, isn't he? Yeah, but we need to cut from the back, not the front. That's why we need to flip it the other way. So roll it towards me, we'll pull it over there and we'll pull it out as far as we can pull it. Boys, I'm saying let's oh, get our run. You don't let's have to pull it here. This no, is no. This, you can get loads more up there. Oh, yeah. Number two, three meters. Alright, cool. Ready? Let's go. Let's roll it. Roll it. From back, from back, from back. From the back. From the back. From the back. He's come over here. Alright, lift it up. Lift it up. What's up, this man? No, no, no. Take the ball. Yeah, the ball. No, that's not asking me too much. No, no, you need to pull it. Go ahead. What's the strongest man? What do you mean? Boom. Now you've got to roll it that way. Because then we've got to pull it out that way. Oh, yeah, that'd be. Alright, what's the strongest man? Let's go. Yeah, yeah! Alright, stop. Now do it. Now what are you doing? Pulling all the way down. Oh, you want to do it like that? You just cut the back and it's easier. Oh, yeah. One sec, one sec, let me just straighten that up. Yeah, yeah, halfway, yeah. <laughs> so what we're going to do now here, guys, Terry's going to explain. Terry. So what are you going to do with that? Just going to cut that. That manufacturer they draw. Make sure we get a nice bottom on the next So we're going to cut this off. This one, the, the whole blue section. We're going to cut this off. That one. <laughs> and that's it. And then we're going to cut the other side and it's going to be a nice clean finish. Oh, man, it cost we need to roll this out. I had a sweaty toe. Roll out. Boys, you don't need to roll this out. It's still not rolled out properly. You know what would be good, boys? If you've got a long pole, you can just put in there, lift it up, and pull it. See what we do. Yeah, yeah, roll it down. Flip that round, tail, and then push it out. Oh, look, just roll it, and then we'll just pull it. Like, two people. No, no, I'm saying flip that round, that, that end, flip it round, and just. Oh, so there's, no, there's no brain on this. Just roll it, and then just pull it back. Just roll it on top of each other, and then two people just pull it back in the air. It's going to be light by then. So now this is all being cut off and we've got the cream line exposed. Why don't, they, why don't they supply this trimmed already? Why do you guys have to do this difficult job of trimming off this part? Just think about it, bro. Just for the manu... Because if we put it on its side, and we said it crushes it, then we're going to crush all the fibres. I don't think that's the reason, bro. I just think they don't do it because they just manufacture it. It's like saying, why don't tilers get everything pre-made so you just stick it on the wall? Not really. Is that dead? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they can't do it. 
They can't make your straight edge for you. Like, yeah. That's more of a carpet fitting thing, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah I feel you. That's like saying uh, when you do a, a. That's it. Perfect example. When you go and measure someone's house and you measure the stairs, are you gonna just cut it on the side and then bring it to the shop? <laughs> yeah, yeah, logic. You think you're sick, now, ain't it? Logic. <laughs> 4.30, he's saying 20 centimetres extra. We're going to have no more carpet left. Cut 4.45. What am I doing? Cut what you want, bro. 4.50. Go back, John. Cut 4.45, bro. What's wrong with this guy? Oh, cuts like butter, isn't it? Beautiful. <laughs> you didn't even see what you done, but the Bro, camera caught you. I know, the camera caught you, so. <laughs> so that's the first stuff. So let's bang that there. But the mic test one, two, three is in the way, man. So, so you're on camera, bro. We're gonna get in the comment section. A comment section. You're on camera as well. Okay. <laughs> you're getting live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, we want to get the main one in. So that's not one then, is it? I just do the main one. That's fine. I'll do that. One hour, yeah? One hour, Shama, yeah. So what we're doing, guys, now, we've scrapped this cream one because we don't... It's so such a thin line, it just looks a bit inconsistent. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep the gold. Is that gold? Is this colour gold? Yeah. We're going to keep the gold and then we're going to butt the blue up to the gold like that. We feel that that looks much, a much better consistent run. Whereas with this, I just don't like the way it looks a bit up and down here and there. So, yeah, that's the plan right now. So we're cutting this out with edge off because um, that's how it looks. That's my man now about the here. So when we cut it off. Watch YouTube. So what we want to do is we want to get these stars matching because it's not a big pattern repeat so if we can do it we might as well get them stars matching so um well just find a roll josh if you can where is it you got your roll find it And to be fair, we need to go that way a bit, anyway. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Let's bend off this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. I've got here, so yeah. The bait is there's, there's more than enough. There's like literally another one. Yeah, yeah, for the event. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that looks good, bro. Let's fine tune it now. Yeah, right. obviously I have to count for the mic. Beautiful. That's now if you step back guys, yeah, yeah. it's a very small it's little detailed thing, thing but you can see now all of the lines matching. I mean the, the stars or whatever they are. Without the cream line, look how lovely that looks. You wouldn't even know it. These guys have been arguing on who's faster at cutting off the salvage edge. So we're going to get the next run out and we're going to actually put it to the test and see who is faster.
Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Now we've opened up this entire run. This is around 12 meters, just shy of it. Oh, look at, look at, look at his oh, really? No, no, Terry, Terry. Yeah, Terry, Terry. Really? How are you cheating, bro? I'm not. I didn't even say anything. <laughs> I'm you're, right and ready to go. You're not in position. <laughs> now, like when we start at 100 guys, meters, guys, isn't it? Let's get start this in the camera. Get this in the camera. <laughs> look at this all flat here. Yeah. Look at mine going up the wall. People are going around the back. Now let's bring this. Let's bring this back a bit. All oh, right. But bring it back so it's all even. Let me make it straight. I come on, man. Yep, stop. Make oh, that straight, Josh. <sighs> yeah, that's fine, bro. That's fine. Yeah. You ready, boys? Are you ready? <coughs> so what, you want me to do that? Because my eyes are colorblind, blue. Yeah, you can stay on one color. I've got like three, four different colors that I can play with. All right, cool. So what are we going to do now? Let me just tuck in the... You know. Actually, let me get this angle. This angle is a bit better. This carpet's going to start burning. <laughs> Whatever you do, boys, don't make a mistake. Yeah, I think his is easier. No, mine ain't. You know what, bro? Give him that then. <laughs> Give who? Give what? him this. Do you want to do this one? No. Oh, no, see, just... I like doing the hardest part. Because he knows he's going to take the gold off. Do you know what? He's going to... I do the most... Sophisticated. All right, you ready, yeah? <laughs> sophisticated. Three. <laughs> no, no, no. I need to get my line. Look, he's, he's engraved it, bro. Look. Engraved. <laughs> Wait, wait, let me get the line. <laughs> you get a crack. Shut up, crack it. You ready, yeah? Three, two, oh, I can't get it. one, go. That runs, Josh. Easy, Terry's gone, Brendan. <laughs> oh, no, I forget. He won, he won. Bro, Terry has disappeared <laughs> to the horizon, bro. <laughs> what have you done? Straight, Josh, what's good? Sorry, it happened. Look, look at what you can't cut that beat. <laughs> <laughs> Josh just did at the start line, bro. Sorry, it happened. It's something happened. He, he... I've slowed down now. That's why he wanted this side. Look. I look, tell you, you're coming to another carpet. Yeah. Josh, it's all about quality, bro. Oh, why does my you see, he's saying this side's harder. Nah, never. <laughs> nah, this, this is nah, this one's harder. No, this side's a little flat. Tomorrow, I tell you what. To, I tell you what. Tomorrow we'll swap. <laughs> and then if you beat him, change the position. Yeah, yeah. 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 Josh is coming though. Josh coming, you got a bit of hope, bro. Josh, you got a bit of hope. Nah, Josh, look behind you. We're quality man. <laughs> <We're quality. laughs> that is quality. I, I came off to a bad start. I ran out of diesel. <laughs> but he's saying the left side is easier, Josh. Yeah. The sound engineer is saying left side is easier. No, he's so saying it's easier. This side is easier. easier. This, it's not. This side is thicker. Yeah, this side is thicker. Yeah, it's a cut this side well. easier. Oh. Straight. I'll show you. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, we we'll switch places. I'll beat tomorrow. you. <laughs> tomorrow, George, we we'll switch places. Terry will have the, the thinner side. And if he beats you on that, we'll just give up. That's it. Just, <laughs> just give up. <laughs> Slow down. Slow yeah. down. Yeah. So he's okay. saying this one's thinner, that one's thicker. Come on, tomorrow we'll, we'll test it. I'm glad that all the brothers are on my side. <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow, Terry. Tomorrow. Just switch it, bro. Switch tomorrow. it. Yeah. I'll show you how it starts. Just keep doing this. This is how we get the job done. This is how we use you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, that's it for now. We've completely finished, it's around four o'clock. We're gonna go home. We have laid out around four or five runs. Uh, we haven't done no gluing. We've got it into 80% uh, position what we like. So tomorrow morning, we're gonna start gluing out the main area and finishing off the, the rest. And we have to be done tomorrow. We have to be done because 
Ramadan is starting on Wednesday, or potentially Tuesday night, so we have to be done tomorrow. And there's no, there's tomorrow no option. Done, tomorrow we have to be done, boys. <laughs> so um, until until tomorrow, the, let's see what can happen. What do we need? Some solvent cleaner, mate. What do we need? Some chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> Some chicken.